Whacking is singing with your body. And when it's done right, it looks like magic. Dance styles are created to music, not the other way around. In whacking, you have to make people see the music by accenting each instrument or vocal so precisely that people can literally see what they're hearing. Whacking originated to the sound of underground disco in gay clubs of 1970s California, and it was created by gay, black, and Hispanic men. It was inspired by drag queens, silent films, and movie stars like Greta Garbo, Marilyn Monroe. It was born out of the oppression faced by gay men of color at the time. This dance was an outlet for them to feel free and express themselves without judgment. Punk was a derogatory term used against gay people in the 70s. Punking was the first name ever given to the dance, and it was reclaimed. Punking is often described as the dramatic part of the dance, the demeanor, the character, the attitude, and the behavior, the performance. The AIDS epidemic hit hard in the 80s. Gay clubs turned into straight clubs. Disco died. I mean, the dance still kind of lingered. It was featured in music videos like Jody Watley's Still a Thrill, Shabadoo, and Anna Lollipop Sanchez popularized it in the movie Break-In. But it never became a global phenomenon in the mainstream. It kind of just fizzled out. <laughs> whacking the moment I saw it. And Brian Green was my first inspiration. And then Tyrone just took it home for me. I love disco and I wanted to become a good freestyle dancer. I also wanted to feel like a woman and I wanted to be confident. And whacking helped me do that. It was just my calling. Whacking taught me to embrace my uniqueness and it helped me to love myself. It gave me the tools that I needed to flourish as an artist and it ultimately gave my life purpose, knowing that I could help others. Tyrone was the kind of person that could make you laugh until your stomach hurt. He gave me so much confidence. He taught me to dance the way that I do. And he never taught choreography. He knew how to pull out a dancer's individuality and clean up their technique without taking away their personality. Soul Train dancers were paid in fried chicken and a soda. So anyone, including myself, who is out here making a living doing this today owes it to those dancers because they paved the way for this to be possible for us. Thank you to the Soul Train dancers, thank you to the drag queens, to the LGBTQ community, to everyone who is out there preserving culture and preserving the legacy.